Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy K Crypto here. So late night video getting um, recorded, as you know, same thing every night. So get used to it. Um, I may have to tone the videos down to three a day on the Luna Classic channel because it seems I'm oversaturating people with content over there. It doesn't seem too bad here because there's a lot more people consuming the content. Some people say it's too much. Some people say it's not enough. So Without further ado, let's get into the point of this video, which is why is the price of Luna Classic um, coming down? Now, crypto goes through all kinds of mood swings, and these mood swings are normally triggered by Bitcoin. Now, why does Bitcoin do this? Because of Bitcoin dominance. And it's very important that you folks know this. Um, as consumers of crypto, as users of cryptocurrencies, you need to understand that Bitcoin dominates the market. Um, this means the majority percentage of the market cap overall is controlled by Bitcoin, um, itself and then Ethereum, um, and then all the altcoins that follow under that and some layer one coins, obviously across the board. But ultimately if Bitcoin starts doing any sort of crazy dumps, everything else goes with it. Now we've seen this across the board. We only focus here mostly on the um, lunar environment, obviously, because that's what a lot of you want to see. Um, but if we go over to something like, I don't know, let's go over to Polygon. And we can see that Polygon is not, do you know what I mean? It's, it's crabbing like the rest of the market. It's seen that dip recently. Same as everyone else. Everything's seen that market dip yesterday. And um, some coins don't get affected. A lot of coins do. Uh, ones that don't get affected uh, it can swing either way for them. They, It just means they have a strong standing still during hard times, uh, the trust of their community, so to speak. And that really shows in times like now. And what we're going through is a stagnation period because, yes, we've got all this great news. But like I said yesterday in some of my um, more negative videos, which we always have to cover that. If we ever have to do it, I always I'll just cram it all into one day. So you just get it all in one day. Um, we've covered those. And then when we get to it, people can't turn around and say, well, you never told us that could happen. Um, so yeah, but ultimately the way everything is, it all has to go up and down and up and down. And it's just the way the crypto market works. And I mean, it could be a lot worse. We could crash down all the way back to where we are, but we're not, we seem to be, um, resisting and just holding as best as we can. And we are still up. A lot of people forget that we are still up 13% from that original um, pump and it will measure a lot different now because it's on a different scale. So if we actually measure the whole thing, you can see it's only measuring at 34% now, whereas we measured this a couple of, um, well, back in on the 20, on the 15th of this month. And you all know that equated to around 130 something percent. And this is just how it works out as time goes by it puts it all down on a different scale and stuff like this. And we're kind of coming out, you know, of this whole um, area of being where we was before. So obviously you've got the new ticker change happened here. We followed all the way down. We've come down, we've eaten dirt, so to speak, or eaten doo-doo. Um, so some people say, and then we've consolidated a little bit, crabbed along, crabbed along. And then all of a sudden we've seen this explosive move. Now, zooming out on the broader scale of things, if we measure from the lowest point there to where we are now, so anyone that's holding from there, you're still 100% up overall. Now, if we actually go back, yes. So if we take that then from the true low point to where we are now, ultimately you're still up 143%. It does equate differently on the grander scale of things, but ultimately still up 150-ish percent or 140%, sorry, folks. Um, we need to get that right to the bottom, really, because really the percentages do really count on me. So about 146%, let's say, okay? And even if I drag it all the way to there over, folks, it will still measure the same. I just can't get it to go all the way over. So really good on the price front. So don't let anybody trick you into thinking that... Um, do you know what I mean? It's crashing, it's dead, it's dying and stuff like that. Our market cap to it, it is this times three so they can stick it over a uh, terra luna uh, uh, we, we've always had our door open to them remember that folks they're the ones who keep 
coming out with this crazy stuff and pretty much discrediting Terra Rebels um, themselves, which is just disgusting. Like, if you don't like their work, don't discredit it by denying its existence when they've done so much to get the community pool and everything like that going on and stuff like that. And we can cover that quickly in this video. Um, it's just hit 12 million, if I remember rightly. Yeah, so it's just gone over 12 million Lunar Classic. So what does this mean? This means after the percentages are taken out for airdrops, for all the validators and things like that, um, they will burn 35% of what's in Is it 35%? Yeah, I think it's 35%. So 35% or 50, it's either one, but they'll burn the remainder of what's left in there. And then obviously whatever's left in that other percentage that's not burn will add to next month's community pool. And it will boost it up higher and higher and higher as the months go by. Uh, it's a very small burn initiative, but it is one nonetheless. So someone's burning in our name um, over on, uh, obviously, the Lunk Penguin Tracker. I've put it up and it, it just seems people are not interested. It's crazy when this person's just burnt 500k uh, in, in our name for the Lunar Classic community. Um, but yeah, a coin in can burn, I mean... A very small amount and get an exceptional exceptional amount of uh, traction but this person is not only just burnt this they're actually going to be burning 50 percent of their daily staked rewards in our name um as to why they're doing it in, in our name uh it's pretty much they lost a lot of money uh on lunar classic uh, i think they managed to get some staking in somewhere and they're getting good rewards and they said they wanted to help out by burning 50 percent of those daily so yeah, do show this person some support, folks. It's really, really honourable to do something like this. Now, I'm going to be burning, obviously, my revenue in the next four, uh, what, four? Yeah, the next five days. So I'm hoping we get paid before the weekend. That'd be brilliant. So I'm hoping it comes through at midnight tonight and I can quickly burn it all tonight. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. It is coming through between those times. So yeah, folks, have a really, really nice Friday. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying away from scammers, doppelgangers and all those kind of crazy people like that. And um, yeah, just have a chilled out day. Lots of good news coming, like I said in my previous videos uh, yesterday. Uh, so you just have to see those as they roll out throughout the day. Don't miss our live stream to uh, today, sorry. Uh, starting at around midday, running through to around three o'clock if it's busy enough, giving away t-shirts, doing a charity auction to burn Luna Classic and also giving away a t-shirt to those three people as well. But don't miss that free t-shirt. Don't have to pay to post and package it on it. It's totally 100% free. It all just comes out of my back pocket, which somebody else has to reach into because I have a broken back. So yeah, do stay safe. Um, always remember to always think about anything before you do it and don't end up with a broken back like myself. Folks, catch you in the next one. Shoo!